I'll tell you this, Big. I thought of you. Chris Jam was telling me something new about you just that uh, drink. Then you were talking about Starbucks a minute ago. Yeah. Now listen to how simple minded I am. Uh, Starbucks is doing a new thing. Christine was just reading about it. Well, they'll bring your drink to the car. Is that right? No, that it's the... it's Target. Oh, it, it, Target. Yeah, Target is expanding their drive-up okay. service because, as Biggie can tell you, mm -hmm. Target has drive-up service. Right. You, you you pull into a numbered spot. Yes. You let them know you're there. They yeah. bring your stuff to your car. Well, many Targets have Starbucks inside, yeah. and uh, they're now experimenting with bringing your Starbucks drink to your car yes. from the Target Starbucks and handling returns at the car. At the car. So you can return a Target item from your car and not even have to get out of the Those car. are the first two departments I see when I walk into my Target store. Me too. Returns first, Starbucks, Starbucks second. right there. I, I'll i tell you, I don't like the fact that so many people or that there's an availability to do it from the car because the first eight or nine spots, right, the, the prime locations are... You know, for we're drive up, br drive up, and I don't see that many people in the drive up spots. But yet, it hasn't taken off like I thought. At Me least neither. at my Me store, too. when I go there, they're empty. But, but they're not right in front of the doors. They're like one store, well, one away. I will say this: Target is by far the best. Are they the quickest? Mm -hmm. I mean, they have it out there to you, and yeah. you're on your way. They're they are so efficient. Well, in the here's where here's where here's how far behind I am. In the pre show meeting, and I know what you're thinking. What? There's a pre-show meeting. What? <laughs> With who? <laughs> By yourself? No, it's because we, we huddle. You go to that, Chris Dem? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> when did I start the pre-show meeting? It's a years ago I said, let's, uh, let's do a pre-show yeah. meeting. We have to do that. Pre-show. Yeah, we huddle together. We, like, hit each other's shoulders, you know. Like, let's go. <laughs> let's do this. Slap each other up against let's the side of the head. Go. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and uh, Chris Dem says... Target is starting to do this, where they'll deliver your Starbucks to you, or they'll take your return from the parking lot. And I said to him, you know what I did yesterday? Went to the pharmacy and just drove through. <laughs> did a little drive-through pharmacy. And Chris Tim's like, well, yeah, that's been going on for 35 years. That's been going on. Yeah. It's like, what are you talking about? I have never. drive through window pharmacies. I've never <laughs> done a drive through pharmacy. Really? Never. I went to say, well, you know, I don't trust the banks. I don't trust drive through banks. You know, you know that, that tube. That's right. It took your shirt off one That's time. Right. <laughs> That's right. You got right. too close to it. That's right. And the well, vacuum the 90s fashions were blousy. <laughs> That's right. Remember I wore those, <laughs> those loose-fitting sleeves. <laughs> yeah. And I've also I've dropped the little uh, the little tube. Tube. The, the, yeah, the little thing and you put rolled into the parking in. lot. <laughs> yeah, it rolled over to McDonald's, and I had to run over there and get it. My precious. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you. And that was my paycheck, you know? You ever drive away with the tube? I've driven, I've done that. Yeah. I've done th those three things. I saw that the other day. Some lady drove off with it. I was like, hey, she uh, she left with it. <laughs> <laughs> what? She left with it. You got to send another tube. <laughs> How many more tubes? I've seen, exactly. They're low. They have a whole stash of them? No. You can't, can't get a tube. You can't get a tube. So I've never really trusted drive through for anything except food. And I've only, <laughs> I, I thought that the drive through pharmacy was newfangled within the last year or so. And Kristen's like, no, man. No, been doing oh, my God. I've been doing that for decades. Right. building those with it. Are, are you a changed man? Yeah, I did. I have to say, uh, let me, let, you know, I'm an advocate for the consumer. Mm. Always have been. That's what they say about me first, right? Mm -hmm. He's an advocate for the consumer. You know what I did? Well, I went to the dermatologist yesterday. My painful rectal itch. This is the follow-up. It's been a year, and the guy said, okay, I can see you've been uh, using some different items on it. <laughs> so, yeah. What color is, color it, is like it, Doc? Scraping off graffiti from the pyramids? <laughs> it's every color. It's iridescent. <laughs> he said, yeah, you've been using a lot of stuff back here. I said, yeah, I have. He goes, let's hit it with a two-pronged attack. I'm going to give you two different medications. Use one in the morning, one at night. They're topical. They're Okay. Okay, so it's prescription stuff. I said, mm -hmm. okay. So I get home. Uh, it's called into CVS. A couple hours later, they say your your uh, prescriptions are ready at CVS. Ew, they're ready. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it can't say ooh, can it? <laughs> oh, your butt cream's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Come get wait, it. wait, 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 wait. There are two? <laughs> <laughs> it's a cocktail. How many butts does this guy yeah, have? So it's like a cocktail yeah. for your butt. <laughs> I'm trying One it all. I'm trying it all. <laughs> so I didn't want to show my face in the CBS. <laughs> so I said, well, God, I'm, I'm driving through on this. But at least there's that. Do you wear a mask and sunglasses? Yeah. <laughs> I put every, yeah. <laughs> Ski mask. Right way. And uh, anyway, 
my wife had said ahead of time, have you seen the commercials for this good RX? Do you have the good RX oh, yeah. app? That is a big deal. I didn't realize what a big deal that was. <laughs> this is new. It. Use it. Let me tell you what happened. My wife said, you need to download good RX. You might get a, a coupon. You might get a deal on this medication. I said, okay. It's like, whatever. You know, I thought when she said it, I was like, all right, whatever. You know, yeah. what are they going to give me off of this? So the first cream, she said, it rang up through your insurance at $10. And that's what good RX had. I said, okay, mm-hmm. fine. The second one, she said, it rang up first at $65, and you're, with your insurance, it's 48 And she goes, that does seem high. Why don't you try that on GoodRx? The pharmacist told me this. Mm-hmm. So I did $20. I mean, it saved me that much yep. money. It was it went from 40 Why does it have to be that way? I don't know. I yeah, don't well, know. I Weird. don't know what it is that GoodRx does, but everybody seems on board with it. I know. I, I don't, don't know either. if the pharmacy companies are happy. but Well, well I brought it up. My wife says. I, I mean, big pharma. Oh, I agree. But my wife says the pharmacist usually doesn't Pharmacists are good about it. Well, I brought it up to her and she was like oh yeah download see what you can get and i did and mm. uh it worked i've had pharmacy tech say mm-hmm. hang on let me let me find you a coupon mm-hmm. yes Isn't that they're nice? good that's about that's it. nice at, at our store and i said well how does who makes money and how do they make money and my, we don't know but it worked i mean it worked for us i don't know how it works i'm I don't a know consumer, why we have to do it i'm a consumer advocate yeah it's a strange little dance well, i would say it's worth it to get that good RX. Oh, yeah. It I didn't like know it. it was. I, I don't I, have it. I didn't. Well, we'll, get it right now. You should get it because I would have paid in excess of $75 to for rub- butts have. For butts have, and I was down to 30 So what's the- back there? What do you say? You know, he looked at Is it, it infection? No, he just said it's irritation from. I know that. Workout, sitting around in sweat. It just causes irritation. He didn't think, he didn't think it was anything serious. But he just said, "Yeah, it's this, not spreading. It's not spreading. It's it's in it's in between my thigh. I spread. It's up in my thighs and in my like crevices in in front. See, that's mm-hmm. different to me. Well, but he said he it's looked the same at, monster. Well, he said you can use the same stuff on both and use, but but he said whatever you do, don't mix up these creams and use the wrong one in the morning and the wrong one at night because one's in the morning. <laughs> and you blow up your house. At, <laughs> one's at night. They touch each other. One's filled with caffeine." <laughs> Keep one oh tube. God. You won't be able to sleep at night. Keep one tube in the downstairs bathroom and one in the yeah. upstairs. The first one he gave me, the one you use at night, he's like, this you can use, eh, whatever, rest of your life. Put it on, and, you know, whenever it flares up, put it on. Then he brought out the second one. He's like, oh, this one, this is the napalm. This is going to get rid of it. <laughs> How, All right. on, on the scale of embarrassment meter, where were you yesterday? Oh, full 10? Oh, yeah, full 10. How many people saw your backside? Just two. The uh, the nurse, the tech, whatever, stayed in. And uh, when he spread me, he's like, get a look at this right were here. Were you facing the wall on your side? No, I was on my stomach. And he uh, he took his own hands. <laughs> <laughs> spread her. This is why they make the big bucks. Spread them apart. Yeah. It is. I said, I really don't want you to have to see this. He goes, it's okay. I've seen them before. Yeah. Did you make your cheeks talk at the end? Thanks, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Does it have a French accent? <laughs> That's Chris Dems. All right. All right. Oui, oui. Uh, thank God. Oh. I feel much better already. <laughs> thank you, doctor. I'm in good hands. <laughs> have you been in French prison? Yeah. Oh, terrible. They looked me over all the way. You know, I was down. That's to, what they do. Oh, do a mole check. Yeah, he did everything. Good. He's like, oh, your moles look good. He's like, I see all these moles. He checked me oh, between my toes. Hey, he honey, come me. in here. Let's play tic-tac-toe. You know, he <laughs> checked everything. Do a wordle. Uh, Johnny, you're talking about good RX, which I highly recommend. Go ahead. So basically the way good RX works, it's built just like your insurance. Mm-hmm. Set up to uh, to basically good RX takes a portion of the amount, mm-hmm. and then the pharmacy gets part of your copay. So it pays the pharmacy less, but sort of exploits the way that things are built through the pharmacy system. Well, I'll take it. I don't get it. I don't either, but however it works, I'll take it. No, it's fine with me. It's almost, you know, because we've been using it for a while, Mm -hmm. and it's almost one of those things that, to a consumer, Mm -hmm. seems too good to be true and can't last. Well, that's what I thought. Thank you, uh, Johnny. I, I thought my wife told me to download. It. I was like, well, it's not going to save me any money. It does a lot of money. I mean, it wasn't just not like everything, a but it, it, yeah. it can really do it. So she said, she says it may just be a dollar. It may be twenty dollars. It was. It was twenty some dollars, which was great. I don't get it. I don't either, but I'm glad. I do recommend. I think you'll yeah. you'll like it. Uh, here, okay. So yesterday, two things. Speaking happened. of parenting, okay. Parenting. All right. Let me tell you. This, this is in garbage time. I said I'm dealing with a parenting issue right now. Mm-hmm. See if you think we handled it correctly. Okay. Uh, my son is 16. Let me try. This is a long thing. 
He hangs out a lot of times on the weekends at Cookout, the restaurant. Right on, man. And, and, you know, it's kind of like we used to do in high school. I'd hang out at the Sonic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Drive up and down, cruise Fayetteville Street, we used to call it, you know. Well, he and his friends hang out at Cookout. In the parking lot. In the parking lot. And they're there. He's at curfew. is 11. And, you know, we track him on the... Now you can look at an app, see where he is. Sometimes he drives somewhere else for dinner or whatever. And then he comes back to cook out. <laughs> he drives to dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Picks up his friends and all this kind of stuff. Then drives around. Then he goes back to cook out. And, you know, I don't know how much really freedom to get. But I see him all the time. And in the for the most part, I think he's a really good kid. At 16, I have not had to deal yet with any kind of drinking or vaping or drugs or anything like that i mean i've stayed up late and waited for him to come in and talk to him and you know he seems pretty good okay. I, I think he's a good kid i really do and some of his friends are pretty good kids but there are a couple of friends of his i think he's got the wrong crowd and one of them oh the dreaded wrong the crowd. wrong crowd right okay so one of these kids my wife used to teach and he's a little sketchy. I mean, he's done some things. In fact, recently he's done some things that I haven't liked. And so I've told him, I was like, you know, you probably should just be wary that if, if this kid does something around you and you're part of it, if you're in the car or whatever, you're going to be in trouble too. You know, if this kid is, is, is holding a bag of marijuana and he's mm -hmm. in your car, you're going to be in serious trouble. You know, I've, I've said all this stuff to him. So, uh, do you get the sense he hears you? I, I do. Uh, yes, I do. And last week, this kid that I don't have the best feeling about stole a car. Okay. Oh, now, my. Now, but, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's it. Okay. But you hear that and you think, oh, wait a minute. Oh, but here's what he did. Here's what he did. He wanted to ditch first period class. And he said, and to he's him, the same age as your son? He's 15. Oh. He's, so he's not even driving. So, uh, okay, right. He's a sophomore. And, uh, but I say stole a car. Here's how he stole the car. He wanted to ditch a class first period. And he said to a girl, this girl said, well, let's go hide out in my car. Here's my keys. Go hide out in my car. Mm. So he got in the car. He drove around. He left the school in uh, the car. Mm. So she looked outside. She's like, my car's gone. And everybody's like, oh, he okay. stole the car. Okay. But not really. You know? Yeah. And my son. <laughs> so my, so we said to my son, it's like, this kid stole a car. And he goes, not really. You he, know, he was given the keys. He was given the keys. <laughs> he was given the keys. <laughs> yeah. the keys. So our deal was. Okay, you can't hang out with this kid anymore. And my son says, that's impossible. I love to go to cookout with my friends. He's my friend. He's going to be there. So my, my son leaves the room. My wife says, we'll decide. So she turns to me. She's like, what do you think? And I said, well, he's in a tough position here. I mean, he has got good friends that go to cookout, and they're tight, and they're good kids. But this kid is going to be there. I was like, I've been 16. I know when you're in a group setting, the kid's going to be there. You know, like, what kind of position are we putting him in? And so we decide, okay, you can hang out. You can be there. This young man cannot be in your car is what we say. He cannot ride. Even if you, you can ride in a car with him, but he can't, you can't drive him. You can go to the same places, That's just right. not together. That's right. And as he was, you can't drive him. Okay. The, and he agrees to that. He's like, okay. And we said, look, if you do this, we're taking your car for a while, yeah. for a couple of weeks. We're going to take it away. During this conversation, Kelly, was were voices raised or was it kind of it was, calm? It was pretty calm. Good. He said a couple of times, you're putting me in an impossible position. And it's so pressure. That, it's pressure. And I said to him, okay, I get it, but you can't drive me anywhere. Okay. So one day later, they have a couple of days off school this week. So one day later, that conversation is like Saturday. Well, Sunday we see, we're tracking him on the app. He's at Cookout. Well, all of a sudden, he's downtown, which is, what, six miles from Cookout? You know the area. Mm -hmm. Okay, He's down near where we are. He's tooling around, right around the radio station. Looking at the big buildings. Well, yeah. Well, they took pictures from a parking garage. They, st they, st they took pictures oh, from the skyline. Yeah. So he gets home and everything. I stayed up. I was up late. It was, must have been Saturday night. So I said, uh, what, are you, what are you doing downtown? He goes, oh, yeah, we're taking pictures from the parking garage. Awesome. This and that. Okay. Fine. Great. A couple of days later, we get word that kid was in his car. He drove, and that kid was in his car. Was this, Kelly, as you like to say in the game, reliable intel? Oh, yeah. We got reliable <laughs> intel that that kid was in the car. Okay. It's nice We're, you got somebody doing some recon for okay, you. We do. We had somebody doing some recon. They I didn't even like recreate a music video, did they? <laughs> They're not like Tupac and Dr. Dre redoing California Love in this video. We got it on good authority. It was in the car. Your son driving this kid hanging out like Tupac. All right. What up? So now my son comes home 
with his best friend. His best friend is in his car, just the two of them. Okay, it's the afternoon, and and we think that he's driven this kid we don't like around. My son comes in. I say, hey man, when you went downtown the other night, you know who went? And he names all these names, but does not name that kid. And I said, well, did you drive? And he goes, uh, I drove one car. There were two cars. And he's like, we had a good time. And and he's like, I got to bounce. I, I got to go. Your son said this. Yeah, he goes, I got to bounce because his best friend was in mm-hmm. the car. And I said, but I said, so so and so wasn't there. I can't give his name. I right. said, so and so wasn't there. He goes, no, he wasn't there. He didn't go. And I said, okay. And uh, my wife says, let me go talk to your friend for a minute. Well, so he's going out. So, uh, oh, no, the separate interrogation. The separate interrogation. Room. Oh, oh, oh. I watch Law and Order. Okay. Oh, no. So my wife says, is there anything you want to tell me before I go outside and talk to him? My son's like, mm, no, it's fine. Everything's fine. So, Did he seem cool, Kelly? He seemed son? cool. He seemed cool. So my wife goes outside. And my son, while she's talking to his friend in his car, now this boy's in his car, my son goes to the window and goes, starts waving. <laughs> <laughs> starts waving. The throat slashy gesture. Yeah, the throat slashy gesture. <laughs> well, the, the, uh, the finger, the shh yeah, 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 well, gesture. Yeah, well. He spilt. Unbeknownst to the other kids, like, yeah, so-and-so was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Well, who drove? Well, of course he son. was. He rode up front. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. So we get back inside. My wife's like, you are fried. You And, and she sent the other kid home. His parents came to pick him Ooh. up. Okay. So my son says, you don't understand. He rode downtown with a different car. And then on the way back, the girl who drove said, I want to be alone with my boyfriend and left. So either I was going to strand him downtown or I had to give him a ride. It's like I was in an impossible position. I was in, it was impossible. Either he's going to be stranded here, downtown, or I had to give him. He's like, it's the one time it'll ever happen. So he explains, explains, explains. My wife is fit to be tied. The boy leaves the room. I turn to my wife, and I was like, he was in an almost impossible position. She goes, don't you believe a word. <laughs> don't you? He, she's like, don't you be so gullible. So we decide to punish him by taking the car. <clears throat> For a week, mm. ah, and not letting him hang out at the cookout for two weeks. Okay. Hangout privileges, oh. hangout privileges gone. Oh. All right, so all that is done. He begs and pleads and begs and pleads, all that stuff, you know. So it's done. And then I say to him, when it's all done, I said, I want you to tell me, did it's the punishment's done? And I said, but if I find out you're lying again, it's going to be even worse. Did you really? Did he really get stranded downtown, or did you drive him both directions? And he goes, I drove him both directions. So he yeah. drove him from and to yeah. and from. And uh, I said, boy, that is disappointing. That, it, it is. Because I went to bat for him. I really did. Mm-hmm. I was like, he's. A, I've been 16. You bought that elaborate house of cards story. I did. And your yeah. wife saw through every inch of it. As, as she always does. Every inch. As she always does. Yeah. I like she, you, though, totally believing him. I mean, she wants to be alone with her boyfriend. <laughs> They wanted to watch the sunset. We've all been there on top of a parking deck. You just want some alone time as a couple. What else was he supposed to do? Your wife's a profiler. She sees she things. Knows. Stuff, she she knows. She knows, man. She got it. And we agreed on the punishment. I wanted yeah. to be a little lighter. But eventually I said, she goes, no, because he had just told us. I mean, yeah. the day before. And then he had to allocute. Yes. And then <laughs> when it was all done. I you said, might as well just go okay, ahead. Okay, punishment's over. But you better tell me. And you better tell me the truth. And then he said, yeah, I, I did it. Mm. And he said, it won't happen again. And then he's like. How do you all know? And that's, I, I don't know how we know, but we know. <laughs> Even I don't know. We know. I don't know how we know, uh, but we know. Yeah.